Hello everyone, it's Gary Wong from GaryWongRealty.com. People know me as the Christian Realtor. But today I'm here with uh, Eric Lee, the principal and founder of Victor Eric Premium Homes, Vancouver's number one luxury design build firm. What makes us unique is uh, we're truly integrated design build. What that means is you can come to our firm and have the same team take you from architecture design to interior design to landscape design and then all the way through to construction. What they dreamed up in the beginning with our team, you know, their requirements, their lifestyles, all of that stuff, that gets captured right from the beginning and then we take it through to the different design stages, uh, help with the city permit and then build it properly. So none of the vision is lost. What was your design inspiration for, for creating, designing the exterior of your home? I started with a French chateau, French country type of palette. White brick really helps you clean up and give that crisp modern feeling to it. Contrast it against black windows. But what I wanted to do was add in that kind of modern aesthetic. This was professionally landscape designed with our team. You know, every species is selected. The landscape lighting is carefully selected and aimed at highlights. And really that's what makes that street appeal, that curb appeal, and really sets the house apart. In this home, what I did was I did our custom carved limestone, and that really becomes that focal point uh, at the front of the house. This door itself is, uh, has taken on the traditional French form with the uh, arch top. I brought in that French uh, character with the wrought iron design. There's a lot of automation in this home. Um, this, this front doorbell is called the eye ring. It's a fairly new product and it's, uh, we call it the smart uh, device because it actually connects to Wi-Fi. So there's a lot of benefits to having there's a... There's a camera on there too. There is, yeah. So, so that's, that's what you see. see who is ringing the doorbell on your mobile phone. That's right, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let's uh, go on inside. Wow, Eric. There's so many things uh, that I see that's different and unique about this place. What, what do you want to show me first? Mm -hmm. Why don't we start with the uh, entry? The entry tile here, uh, it's a, actually a water jet uh, cut marble tile. The stairway to me is always important mm -hmm. and I really want to use it as a feature. In a lot mm -hmm. of the homes that we do, we make it a feature, we make it a first impression mm -hmm. wow. Uh, and we use it as a light tunnel. We've actually located a huge skylight at the top of it. It brings natural light right down to the middle of the house mm -hmm. where there's no windows. The uh, chandeliers, this is a custom chandelier. You know, this is not a huge home. It's uh, about 4,300 square feet. Um, but what I use here for the stairway was bronze tinted mirror to really open up the space. I really wanted to kind of, you know, how do I mix modern and traditional design together? It's mm -hmm. a traditional home. Uh, but I wanted to add modern aspects to it and this railing is an example of that. So the uh, intermediate rails are very simple, very clean with just a uh, bottom base shoe for a bit of detail. But at the baluster post here, mm -hmm. uh, I chose a very ornate wrought iron uh, profile and I custom designed this turn just to add that extra level of detail. As you can see, there's uh, archways that frame the uh, division between the family room and the dining room. Mm -hmm. And the focal piece of the dining room is of course the ceiling. What yeah. I wanted to do here was bring in that traditional uh, ornate detailing, a lot of the ceiling uh, crowns and the motifs uh, and just create a pattern out of it. Here, as you can see on the ceiling, there's layers and layers. Lighting design is super important to mm -hmm. um, uh, luxury homes and to doing it right. So what we did was we edge lit that with a uh, soft LED glow that's dimmable mm -hmm. uh, and that with the shadows and everything it really highlights that carving of the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Now the whole idea about a family room has really changed with the generations. Mm -hmm. um, traditionally you've got a living room uh, which is where the guests are and then you've got the family room which is where the family is. Mm -hmm. uh, but with modern day lifestyles, we tend to kind of mix that. You know, when you have parties and friends over, the first thing they go to is the kitchen. The kitchen mm -hmm. island, then they yeah. spill into the family room. Right. Um, so I've got my living room over there. You know, it's a space, but I really don't call it a living room. It's um, a music room to us. And we've made it more of a multi-purpose room. It's, uh, you can have a private conversation there. The barn doors can slide closed. And if you have an adult conversation, that's no problem over there. But we've also got uh, my daughter's piano there, my guitar's there, um, a, a built-in bookshelf uh, for reading. So it's really a multi-function room. Here I'm mixing uh, modern and 
rustic together. Uh, mm -hmm. Just like this family room, for instance. Yeah. What I've got on the wall here, this mm -hmm. this fireplace is uh, a uh, exotic marble. It, it's uh, bringing that that kind of statement piece. Uh, it's a feature wall. Um, you see it as you come in, so I want it mm -hmm. to to have something very special. Um, that's an exotic marble called Stacciario. It's a white marble. Uh, it's a classic material, but uh, done in a very modern uh, horizontal linear accent with mm -hmm. the. LED edge light um, to highlight the textured marble tile below where the mm -hmm. fireplace is. And even in the fireplace, as you can see, what we did there was we kind of made that uh, mock country fireplace look with the, um, with the wood. And what I did was I actually designed and custom made a black metal frame around the entire fireplace, but mm -hmm. to really stretch it out and give that horizontal alignment to it. What we did was we actually uh, sourced a uh, log and we, uh, we call it live edge, which is basically leaving the, uh, the, the, the bark and, and the, the uh, natural profile of a log uh, uncut. Wow. So the live edge is at the front of it and I used that and made a mantelpiece. Now that again is bringing in that rustic element, um, just like the ceiling, if you look yeah. at the barn beam ceiling. These are reclaimed. Wow. Uh, it's reclaimed from a barn in Portland, actually. Wow. Uh, and it's a great way to, again, contrast that rustic with the modern. As you can see in this house, there's no one flat ceiling. That's Every right. ceiling has been thought about. Every uh, ceiling detail has been executed with care and attention. It's that French country kitchen that I'm trying to create. Mm -hmm. uh, the rustic beams uh, reclaimed. Mm -hmm. um, the white statue of marble mm -hmm. uh, that was reflected from the fireplace and also we brought it up to the backsplash there. Mm -hmm. But with any luxury kitchen, the main thing is the fridge uh, and also the big range. So yeah. we've really paid a lot of attention to both of those. What I did was I took uh, concealed panels and I designed it and made it look like an old furniture armor that's just kind of pushed into the space. Yeah. You know, so that, that again, that, that, that bit of a rustic uh, throwback to uh, just a French furniture piece. The other unique thing is uh, this floor that I've selected here. This is a tile, but it's a rustic print tile. Mm. And this really adds to that country home feeling. So what we did here was we actually made the carpet and the tile and the hardwood floor all one level. Yeah, the range itself, um, it's a uh, wolf range. It's a 36 inch mm -hmm. wolf range, but then I made it extra wide by adding a 15 inch uh, walk burner mm -hmm. beside mm -hmm. it. Now, the statement piece of this whole kitchen is uh, the hood fan. Yes. So we did a custom hood fan that uh, is um, 60 inches wide, and it's a stainless steel shroud that, that we fabricate ourselves uh, to go over top of the hood fan that is there. One final thing I'd, I'd love to kind of show you guys is um, just the home automation that uh -huh. we saw outside, the, uh, the uh, eye ring. Um, other things happening here, there's uh, we're controlling integrated sound through yep. the internet, so you can stream music through the internet. Um, there's integrated speakers throughout. Uh, lighting control, so when you come home, you can hit every scene here. As you can see, there's one for cooking, dining, uh, you know, night, all lights. Yeah. So if you come home and you just want a soft glow, you can hit a night mode. If you're going to bed, you can hit the all lights. Yeah. And the beauty of that is you don't have to go through the whole house hitting every oh, wow. light switch. If the kids forget a light switch, just hit that one button and everything's taken care of. Wow. Beside the kitchen, we've mm -hmm. got actually the nook. And it's, yeah. uh, it's got a built-in bench uh, with bookshelves around for just displays and everything. Folding French doors. In the back patio, what we have is actually a hot tub that's integrated into the deck. The master bedroom is it's not a huge room, mm -hmm. uh, but what we really wanted to do was raise the volume of the space, mm -hmm. and that's why we have the vaulted ceiling. Mm -hmm. Hanging down from that is a central chandelier yeah. uh, pendant piece there. There's a lot of details in this master bedroom, a lot of luxurious, elegant details, and mm -hmm. that's really where I wanted to go. You know, downstairs it was a bit more rustic, uh, mixing with the modern. Mm -hmm. Here we really wanted to bring up that level of elegance. So what we've got here is my youngest daughter's room. What would be really cool for your viewers to see is actually this loft that we created here. It's a secret little space for her. You know how yeah. kids love secret spaces. It's, it's a like great little place. It's like their own personal treehouse inside oh, yeah, the room. For sure. Awesome. Eric, thank you. Uh, so here we are in the, the home theater of your, of your uh, extremely custom built home. Thank you for your time, Eric. And do you have any lasting uh, comments you have for the viewers out there? 
Yeah, I think if, uh, if um, you know, the viewers are about to do their first home and they want this level of home, mm -hmm. um, definitely don't save on hiring the right professional. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much work behind designing a project that really gets, doesn't get appreciated until it's all done and the package is done right. For your viewers out there, go find a design build company. Um, if they're interested in looking for us, we can be found at www.victoric.com. Okay, thanks. Thanks so much. Eric. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Okay.